Baby, be in love with your fantasies. I can be a star, make a sky so bright. Welcome to my dungeon. This is ecstasy. Let me play the fantasy. What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Asia. It's your boy, BJ, and, and we, we back, back like, like we never, never left. left. What's up, fam? How y'all doing? We appreciate y'all for hitting that thumbnail. Most importantly, thank you guys for supporting our channel. Uh, today, we're going to be getting back into uh, Ricky Gervais. Yeah. Gervais. See, see, we see we from Texas, so we, you know, them R's. <laughs> we, we'll look we'll, we'll rough on the R's because I know, I know last time I kind of slaughtered his name. <laughs> I think I said Ricky Gervais. <laughs> A little bit. Gervais? Yeah. Or something like that, but it's Gervais. And uh, y'all, y'all told us that we needed to check out his Golden Globe of 2020. Um, his speech, uh, I don't think he accepted an award. I think he's just doing like a monologue. Okay. Yeah, because, well, a lot of y'all <clears throat> commented that we needed to check it out under the last video we did. If y'all didn't get a chance to check that out, y'all got to go back and, and, see that, <laughs> and see that reaction. But I saw that a dozen times <laughs> that we need to check out Golden Globes. Yes. Ricky Gervais. So I'm excited to get into this. Make Me sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Smash the notification bell so you don't miss any videos from Asian BJ. And shoot, let's go ahead and hop into this video, y'all. Hey, it's that time. Let's go. Here you go. Hello. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Hello and welcome to the 77th Annual Golden Globe Awards, live from the Beverly Hilton Hotel here in Los Angeles. I'm Ricky Gervais, thank you. Um, you'll, you'll be pleased to know this is the last time I'm hosting these awards, so <laughs> I, know they I don't happen. care anymore. Um, I'm joking, I never did. Um, <laughs> NBC clearly don't care either, fifth time. So, I mean, Kevin Hart, was fired from the Oscars because of some offensive tweets. Hello. <laughs> Lucky for me, the Hollywood foreign press can barely speak English. And <laughs> they've no idea what Twitter is. So I got offered this gig by fax. So let's go out with a bang. Let's have a laugh at your expense, shall we? Remember, they're just jokes. We're all going to die soon, and there's no sequel. So, yeah. Brilliant. Hey, um, here, here. You all look lovely, all dolled up. You came here in your limos. I came here in a limo tonight, and the license plate was made by Felicity Huffman. So, no. Felicity Shush. Huffman? It's her, it's her look. daughter, I feel sorry look, for. Look at her. Okay. I don't even know. That must be the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to her. And her dad was in Wild Hogs. So, Lots of big celebrities here tonight. I mean, legends, icons, yeah? Look, at this table alone, uh, Al Pacino, Robert De Niro. But... Wow. <clears throat> Baby Yoda. Uh, oh, <laughs> what? That's, that's Joe Pesci, sorry. Um, <laughs> I love you, man, don't have me whack. Um, but tonight <laughs> isn't just about the people in front of the camera. In this room are some of the most important TV and film executives in the world. People from every background, but they all have one thing in common. They're all terrified of Ronan Farrow. <laughs> He's coming for you. Ronan. He's coming for you. Look, talking of all you perverts, it was a big year. It was a big year for paedophile movies. Um, surviving R. Kelly, Leaving Neverland, Two Popes. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> Many talented people of colour were snubbed in major categories. Um, unfortunately, there's nothing we can do about that. The Hollywood foreign press are all very, very racist. So, oh. oh. Fifth time. Look. So, <laughs> Look at that. Thanks. We were going to do an in memoriam this year, but when I saw the list of people that had died, it wasn't diverse enough. It just, no. It was mostly white people. And I thought, nah, not on my watch. So, maybe next year. Let's, let's see what happens. No one cares about movies anymore. No one goes to cinema. No one really watches cold. network TV. Everyone's watching Netflix. This show should just be me coming out going, well done, Netflix, you win everything. Good night. But no, no, we've got to drag it out for three hours. You could binge watch the entire first season of Afterlife 
instead of watching this show. That, that's a show about a man who wants to kill himself because his wife dies of cancer. And it's still more fun than this, OK? <laughs> Spoiler alert, um, season two is on the way. So in the end, he obviously didn't kill himself. Just like Jeffrey Epstein. <laughs> Shut up. I know he's your friend, but I don't Ooh. care. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> You had to make your own way here in your own plane, didn't you? Right. But m seriously, most films are awful, lazy, remakes, sequels. I've heard a rumour there might be a sequel to Sophie's Choice. I mean, that would just be Meryl Streep going, well, it's got to be this one then. Oh, there she go. <laughs> All the best actors have jumped to Netflix and HBO, you know. And the actors who just do Hollywood movies now do fantasy <coughs> adventure nonsense. They wear masks and capes and really tight costumes. Their job isn't acting anymore. It's going to the gym twice a day and taking steroids, really. Have we got, a, have we got an award for most ripped junkie? No, <laughs> no point. We know he'd win that. Um, <laughs> my Babe, why are your mouth halfway open? <laughs> <laughs> because, like, he got you on the Epstein, but <laughs> some, the stuff that he's saying, I'm just like, man, I can't believe NBC. He said NBC was the one that hired him for this. He like I for the fifth know. time. Yeah, yeah, basically. I'm just, everything he's saying. I'm just like, man, whew. Like, I would hate to be this guy, like going to the after party of like the Golden Globes. I'm not showing up. He might skip it. Not he, after he... I. <laughs> Stand up there and did that. I got hiccups. And just roasted everybody? <laughs> yeah. Yo. He is off the chain. Yo, you see how people are just sit, sitting there looking at him? They like, ooh. And yeah, he's like, shut up. We're only going to live once. Yeah. You only get this one time. But <laughs> We're no, all going to die. But his delivery, <laughs> his delivery is on point. It's, I mean, obviously the material is like, he's like one of those, those petty roasters. Like, I'm just going to roast you and there's no boundaries. There's no referee. There's everything. Everything. Everything is in play. Probably everything because he'd be is in like, play. Shoot, after everything is done, I'm going back home to the UK. I don't live here anyway. I don't really care <laughs> <laughs> to make friends with any of y'all. I'm just here to do a job, and that's it. I'm about to go. Yo, but to do this, you, you literally you can't care. <laughs> you can't care. You can't have no prisoners when you're doing this right here. Not. No. No point. We know he'd win that. Um, <laughs> Martin Scorsese, the greatest living director made the news for his controversial comments about the Marvel franchise. He said they're not real cinema, and uh, they remind him of theme parks. I agree. Although I don't know what he's doing hanging around theme parks. He's not big enough to go on the rides, is he? <laughs> Tiny. <laughs> right. The Irishman was amazing. It was amazing. Um, that, it was. My fact, my, it was great. Uh, Long, but amazing. Um, it wasn't the only epic movie. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, nearly three hours long. Leonardo DiCaprio attended the premiere, and by the end, his date was too old for him. So... <laughs> <coughs> Got him. Prince Andrew's like, come on, Leo, mate. You know, you're nearly 50, son. Um, Gosh. Gosh. The world got to see James Corden as a fat pussy. <laughs> he was also in the movie Cats, but no one saw that. Um, and the reviews, oh, shocking. I saw one that said, this is the worst thing to happen to cats since dogs, right? <laughs> but Dame Judi Dench defended the film, saying it was the role she was born to play, because she... I can't do this next joke. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, come on. <laughs> because she loves nothing better than plonking herself down on the carpet, lifting her leg, and licking her own mint. Look at her Oh my God. Oh my God. Furball. Furball. <laughs> Furball. She's old school. Um, <laughs> it's the last time. Okay. Hey, take a drink. Oh. Apple roared into the, the TV game with a morning show. A superb drama, yeah. A superb drama about the importance of dignity and doing the right thing, made by a company that runs sweatshops in China. 
So, Ooh. well, you say you're woke, but the companies you work for, I mean, unbelievable. Apple, Amazon, Disney. If ISIS started a streaming service, you'd call your agent, <laughs> wouldn't you? So, if you do win an award tonight, don't use it as a, a platform to make a political speech, right? You're in no position to lecture the public about anything. You know nothing about the real world. Most of you spent less time in school than Greta Thunberg. So, if you win, <laughs> right, come up, accept your little award, thank your agent and your god, and fuck off. Oh! Okay? <laughs> so... I <laughs> think your agent and your god. <laughs> it's oh. already three hours long. Look... Right, let's do the first award. The first award. The first award is for best actor in a television series, musical or comedy. To present the award are a couple of actors off the telly. What can I say? Jennifer Aniston and Reese Witherspoon. In a little while, we're gonna see a, a short clip from The Irishman. Um, it's 88 minutes long. <laughs> In the meantime, here are Sofia Vergara and Matt Bomer. Welcome back. Still having a good time? Good. As you know, the meal tonight was all vegetables, as are the members of the Hollywood Foreign Press. <laughs> <laughs> Please welcome their president, Lorenzo Soria. He be trying it. He be good, do he? has three nominations tonight. Yeah. See what can happen if you don't dress people up as cats. It's, it's that easy. Here are two of the nominated stars, Anna de Armas and Daniel Craig. I've got nothing negative Nigga to say cut. about these next two presenters because the big one could snap me in half. So please welcome Zoe Kravitz and Jason Momoa. Jason Momoa. <laughs> he said the big one. Jason Momoa. <laughs> <Snap me there>. <laughs> <laughs> Kill me. We're nearly done. Jeez. <laughs> Three, it's already. <laughs> right. Um, last one, last one. Come on, guys. <laughs> Our next presenter starred in Netflix's Bird Box, a movie where people survive by acting like they don't see a thing. Sort of like working for Harvey Weinstein. You did it. You, I didn't. You did it. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Please welcome Sandra Bullock. <laughs> That's it. Good night. Thank you. Please donate to Australia. Have a great time. Get drunk. Take your drugs. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? He said get drunk. Take your drugs. I... Sir. What the hell did we just see? <laughs> They say the best for last. No, they say the best for last. He, cause he basically compared the bird back, the bird box, to people that see something that's been done wrong or, or act like they don't know what's going on. What's really happening? What's yeah. really happening? Yeah, y'all don't have. <laughs> he said. He says not me. Wait, it's y'all. Let, let me clarify. He said y'all don't have a clue what's going on in the real world. Like none. I think I think like the majority of people have some type of. <laughs> Some England of like something happening in the real world, right? Regardless of your status. So for him to get up there and then be like, y'all don't even live in the real world, like for real. Y'all live in Hollywood, right? That's what he's trying. To, that's what he's trying <laughs> to compare. Hollywood. That's what he's trying to compare all actors or you know going with that stereotype that they don't live in the real world. That they live inside of Hollywood, not the real world, <laughs> right. obviously. But yo, like, did he catch any flack by doing this or or or? People just are already aware of just this is who Ricky Gervais is, and and they okay with letting him get up there to do what he wants to do because this was a crazy monologue. Like I've seen Chris Rock do some, you know, at, at some award shows. I, we've seen Kevin Hart. I think we've seen Kevin Hart a couple of times. But do go Golden Globes? I don't think he not did. the Golden Globes. Just, okay, I was gonna say I don't just think he's done just that. an award show. Okay. And but I've never seen anybody go this hard at the audience like Ricky Gervais did. Like his, like his delivery and the harshness of the joke is, so is just bold, so though. on point and it's bold. Yes, it's very bold and he's very brave to get up there and do it. Like I feel like I couldn't get up there and say half of what he just said. I just couldn't do it. I could it. do it. 
He, you saw he was reading the script. He like, I can't even do. I can't do. I can't even do all these jokes. I don't even know why y'all got me up here doing this for real. Okay. I'd have been like, I could do it. I could do what Ricky Gervais does and and get on there and just roast everybody. And then afterwards, I'm going to go to the after party like, what's up? Okay. Anybody? Hey, what, what what's the problem? We all going to be scrolling through watching watching the epic slap across the face because you know what I'm saying? Something crazy about somebody. Okay? Nah, they ain't going to do me like that. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. BJ. I ain't going to let Will, Will Smith ain't going to do me like that. <laughs> I got got. Okay? He said the wrong thing. I'm yeah. just saying. But no, definitely... <laughs> This definitely like lived up to what you guys told us as far as like the Golden Globes, like just looking at everybody's faces and how puzzled and how bewildered, damn, they're pissed off that they look. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But this was definitely better than the last one that we did with him, uh, just shitting on people for ten minutes. <laughs> yeah, this was good. This was good. Y'all gotta chime in if there's anything else we need to check out. Make sure y'all leave that comment down below in the <sighs> comment section. And if y'all enjoy it, give us a big thumbs up. Like, comment, subscribe. Smash the notification bell so you don't miss any videos from Asian BJ. If ain't nobody else told you, I love you. We're going to see y'all in the next video, y'all. Peace and blessings, y'all. We yeah. gone.